welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Today I'm going to show you how to align uh, text. So we're going to, I'm going to create some guides um, and we're going to make sure these are all lined up properly without trying to guess. Um, so I've got the white background, I've got the menu, very creative name for my menu. Uh, I've got the items, which are these items just here. I've put them into a group and the prices I've put into a group as well. I'm just going to expand those all. Um, if you want to group them, just create your text layers and click and shift click, select all of them and press Ctrl and G and that will group them and you'll be able to, to name the group itself. Okay, so let's, let's start with uh, the, the items. So first of all, I'm going to select all of them. Um, so I click and shift, or if you want to skip on out, hold down the control. Okay, and you see these buttons up here? Um, you can either left align, or right align, or center align. Um, so I've got those ones there. If we want to align it with the actual background itself, we want to select the background as well, so control and click. So now it's going to do the same, but use the background as the actual um, parent of, of, of them. So if we left align, left aligns the, on the actual background itself. Same with right align and center align. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. Um, I'm just going to move these over just a bit. And I'm going to left align those. So that's nice over there. And I'm going to do the same with uh, the prices. Shift and click. And center align and left align. Actually, let's do those as uh, left align. Sorry, I said left align to right align. Okay, so that's fine. Now we want to line them up with um, with the actual items itself. So I'm just going to start here just to get a rough idea. Um, 250 goes there. Uh, six pound goes there, and the other six pound goes up there. All right. Now we can see see already that they aren't lined up properly. I'll just do lines underneath each of them, just to show you what I mean. And that one, and one more. Okay, so I haven't done a bad job actually, but let, let's do it all together. Okay, so the six pound, the top one, we want to align with the roast beef. So we want to select the roast beef, control and click your six pound, and we want to align them like that there we go so they it, it kind of straightens them out so they they in line with each other the other six pound and the macaroni cheese hopefully that one should pop down a little bit let's see yep and it brought the macaroni cheese up and the curly fries two pound fifty let's align those brought the 250 down and let's go to the three pound for the chocolate cake very expensive chocolate cake I hope it was tasty Okay, so now I have to realign those again because when I moved them about, I adjusted them. Okay, and we're going to center align those. No, we're going to left align those. There we go. And just to make double sure that these ones are aligned correctly, I'm just going to do that again. And there's a way you can do it so the spacing between them is equal. So let's choose... Um, I'm just going to hover over that to give you the correct name so it's the top edges there we go sorry I had to just double check that you can do the top edges the center or the bottom edges so now those are all lined up properly correct space in between them all it may look a little bit out because um, it counts the Y the, the little tail there um, as the bottom as well okay so let's do oops control click and central line chocolate cheese and macaroni so now they should all be lined up correctly okay and I've done this the long way because I keep changing it sorry about that there we go so that's all aligned up there now all aligned up and they're all lined up horizontally as well okay my next tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a proper menu um, with graphics and everything as well, the descriptions and all that. Okay, so please keep, stay tuned and 
Yep, keep following for more. Thank you.